Hello and welcome to the future. The future is actually electric. Electric cars are what's coming next and what we have with me today is an example which is the BMW iX Sport. It's a fully electric car. So let's see what the future has for us. Okay, so this is the BMW iX Sport. The price is 407,000 ringgit. It was first uh, launched last year, August, but uh, only now we managed to get the car. So there are two variants of the iX the iX and the iX Sport. So on the exterior, there are a few differences. Let me quickly show you what are the differences between the iX and the iX Sport here from the exterior point of view, okay? Okay, so since this is the iX Sport, which is the more happening variant, this gets BMW laser lights. The regular BMW iX gets LED, so we have extra BMW laser light. And this part here, this trapezoidal trim is exclusive for the iX Sport. The normal iX gets like an L-shaped trim, so this looks sportier and since it's an electric car, you don't need a grill. Although they still uh, get this uh, funky kidney grill to make it look like all the other models. Okay, so this is fully covered. So yes, exclusive to the iX Sport is laser lights, the trapezoidal trim and going to the side, the iX Sport gets 22 inch tires and aerodynamic wheels. The regular iX gets 21 inch, so this is 22 inch. I don't even want to think about how much this tire cost because uh, this is a Pirelli P0 tire that is made this, uh, especially for electric cars. And uh, you have there's no lever, you have a button on the door, and then you have a frameless door. Very stylish, and if you see inside. We have a few surprises for you, like for example, we have this crystal, this is real crystal. The seat controls and the buttons are crystal. And to open the door, you actually have to press this button so there's no lever. So if battery gone, God bless you. And also at night, you can see they have ambient lighting running around along the uh, window. Okay, at the back, there's nothing much happening, but it still looks good. So at night, you can see there's a sleek LED light. And uh, since it's uh, quite a big vehicle, the boat is also huge and you can fold the seats and uh, your charging cables are all down here. Quite a big boot. So how does it move? We have two electric motors. There's one for the front axle and one for the rear axle. So it's like your Tamiya car. So these electric motors actually propel the car and in between we have a lithium ion battery which enables the iX port to travel uh, the figures given were 425 kilometers with a full charge of battery no more full tank huh? full charge so one full charge you can go about 425 kilometers so after driving about two days i still have 300 kilometers left and if you when you don't use the car the battery doesn't really deplete so yes 425 kilometers per full charge and uh, in terms of charging AC charging will take about 7 hours and 15 minutes to go from 10% to 80% and when you use a DC charger fast charging you can go from 10% to 80% in just half an hour so yes 425 kilometers range 7.5 hours AC charging and half an hour DC fast charging those are the numbers you need to remember okay now let's see how's the interior Okay, so inside the BMW iX Sport, uh, things are quite simple. There's not many buttons for you to it, but it looks very, very futuristic. And the main highlight to me is the 12.3-inch uh, BMW curve screen. So moving forward, all new BMW models will come with this curve screen, which looks very, very futuristic and stylish. The interface is easy, easy to use, just like the whole system very user friendly and looks very visually appealing everything you want to know about the car everything you want to control can be done using the uh, crystal the Swarovski crystal iDrive uh, knob here and uh, speaking of crystal as I showed earlier 
the iDrive controller is crystal and then the gear selector is made of crystal and uh, the seat controller is also made of crystal and sound system is kick ass I told you earlier and uh, another cool feature is that we have this uh, funky roof uh, monochromatic roof which is actually glass but you have a button when you press you can see everything and then if you find it uh, too bright or too hot just press the button and it gets darker okay and then here in the middle we also have this open four wood trim with all the buttons so there's no individual buttons so you just see where the the symbols are and you press it it looks very very stylish and to store things uh, down here you have uh, wireless charging dock you have cup holders two uh, USB type C ports here, 12 volt power outlet here, uh, 12 compartment and uh, the seats are very comfortable also and uh, yeah comfort level is top notch and looking at the size space is also abundant and because it's an electric car from the future the steering is not uh, circular so you have this uh, funky spaceship-ish uh, steering wheel uh, which took me some time to get used to but uh, now I'm fine with it cool and uh, to open the door as I mentioned you have to press the button and uh, yeah that's about it and quite practical you have a deep center console here you see half of my hand can go inside and yes storage for me this one so it's deep so yeah very pleasant place to be in Okay, the rear is also very spacious and what I like is uh, how they have positioned two USB-C charging ports behind the front seat and there's also a, what looks like a storage compartment for the charger. I don't know what it is. But it's a nice touch so the charging ports are actually behind the seat. And then you have a rear air con control and you have two vents here and two vents on the pillars at the side. So you are constantly kept cool. Okay, there's more than enough air conditioning and uh, you have these two cup holders and if you want more space sorry, three people can sit no problem and then you have these lights behind uh, yeah very spacious and very comfortable very nice for family so if you have the money you want an electric uh, vehicle that is uh, on the bigger side then yes this is worth considering okay so how does it feel to drive the BMW iX Sport EV Okay, first things first, uh, the power drain makes 326 uh, horsepower, 630 newton meters of torque, that's a lot of torque, so it can go from 0 to 100 in 6.1 seconds and it can hit a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour, so this is among the fastest EVs in the market at the moment. Okay, and uh, there's no, since there's no engine, there's no noise so when you start you just hear like one whoosh one sound just to let you know that okay it's now uh, on and you're good to go and uh, gear selection is uh, just like uh, your normal car so you have uh, drive you have uh, reverse neutral and also a B mode so what happens in B mode is that the moment you lift off your throttle brakes are applied so why it does that is when the brakes are applied it actually generates energy to recharge the battery okay but uh, it applies the brake to an extent where the car can actually come to a stop so that is if you want to charge the brake while driving so it's b mode so now i'm in d and there are three driving modes so you have personal and you can set everything you want uh individual and you have uh, sports mode for a bit more engaging driving and efficient <laughs> my favorite feature obviously because you know I want to prolong the battery charge for as long as I can so in sport yes uh, the throttle is a bit more sensitive it's a bit more eager but in efficient it still feels uh, normal it doesn't feel sluggish at all and since it's an electric car uh, power delivery is instant you press and then it just goes despite, it, uh, despite its size it's fast and uh, one thing which uh, I won't say I'm disappointed, didn't live up to my expectation, is the level of uh, noise in sound insulation. I don't know if it's because of the materials used, but I can clearly hear what's happening outside. 
uh, I can hear the road and if let's say a bike passes by I can hear it clearly okay so uh, that's one thing besides that it's very very comfortable it feels just like a normal car to drive okay you got no pedal shifters whatsoever and everything else is uh, normal yeah electric cars are all about you know being uh, eco-friendly and whatnot so you don't see a lot of leather and also a lot of uh, material is made out of uh, eco-friendly things but it's still very very visually appealing very nice place to be in uh, yeah so that's pretty much about it you can the only thing is if it came with a bit a longer driving range will be even better but at, in my opinion i think 425 kilometers is okay so if you want to go, you can go from KL to Penang. Maybe you can just stop by Ipoh, go to a BMW dealer and charge it. You must pay, of course. Just charge it fast, charging half an hour, and you are good to go. And uh, keep in mind that the four hundred and seven thousand ringgit price tag is uh, duty free because EVs are now uh, tax free. So. If the government suddenly decides to impose tax, the price will surely go up. So if you are thinking about getting an EV, do it as soon as possible before the taxes come back. Okay? Until I see you with the next car, this is Gokul signing off. And uh, let me see how far I can go before I run out of juice. Okay? So like, share the video, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you with the next car. Oh, 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 oh,